Welcome to James Bond Fan Events. Give us five minutes, we'll give you James Bond. Today we're talking again about COAs, when they are valuable. What is a COA? A certificate of authenticity. And they are valuable when an auctioneer has a large collection from one or two persons. In other words, houses trust the seller as described on a prior video. They don't have time to check hundreds of auction items. But when a seller is me or you or someone who's been in the game a long time and has collected for dozens of years, we don't want to sell our collection, but we have to. We take the whole collection rather than painfully move money eBay one at a time, send them to an auction house, and normally you can trust those items and those COAs. And the buyer and seller thus have a provenance or a story that they can trust. It is a question of trust. Who do you believe? Koskov or me? If I trusted Koskov, we wouldn't be talking. I've been in this game a long time. I run fan events a long time. I've presented props, memorabilia, uh, toys, games, books, autographs, bond clothing, bond autographs, bond videos at museums, at libraries, at concerts. And I know that some auction houses have strong reputations for having real deal items, but even I can be fooled. Even I can be fooled. How do I know what I have is genuine? If I trusted Koskov, we wouldn't be talking. And how do the auctioneers know? I mean, many of these auction houses have auction masters who work in the film industry, but it doesn't mean they've worked on or even seen Star Wars or James Bond or Star Trek films. How do they know what they're doing? Now, forgeries are rare with props. I mean, who's going to work to make a fake prop and make $50 on eBay? And forgeries are rare because the items that you know are valuable and I know are valuable are known items, known quantities. They have to match what we see on screen. The really rare worthy items are vintage early posters, vintage early books, and genuine props from the Bond films. With some toys and some action figures, please, we don't call them dolls, call them action figures. Those toys and action figures have limited values, some of them getting a high end of $1,000 or $2,000 for James Bond. But another way that we can be fooled by a prop or a COA prop is hero items. Let me explain. Hero items are made in multiples. By hero items, I mean James Bond's shirt that he's wearing on screen, James Bond's gun that he's firing on screen, James Bond's business card that he's passing on screen. In some cases, there's six of them made for the production. In some cases, 12. In some cases, 100 of them. So here's a hint. Avoid paper forgeries. Paper and autographs are probably the two places where forgeries can come into play. Or mistakes, like you're buying a replica, you don't realize it's a replica. Now, way back when, I learned Corel, Draw, and Adobe PageMaker, and then I learned InDesign and Photoshop so I could do some fun Bond items. And I made a table tent card from Dimes of Forever, one of my favorite films. It's campy, it's quirky. And when you're in Las Vegas today and you're having lunch or dinner, you'll get a table tent card that advertises the show. And I made a pseudo one for Diamonds of Forever. Long story short, I put it on eBay. I sold it as a replica prop. Years later, it showed up in friends, collections, and multiples as genuine props. You have to be careful. And if I'm printing a business card for James Bond and I'm not making it in-house at Eon, I go across the street to the printer, and when you go to Vistaprint, your minimum order is 250 business cards. So some of the business cards out there for James Bond, there's hundreds of them. Some of the poker chips out there for James Bond, there's hundreds of them. The question is, how many got off the set? And so props are fun because you're constantly doing research. And again, there are a variety of false positives and positive falsehoods at the auction houses. Hey, here's a golden gun shirt selling for 3000 and then fans will write it and say it's not Golden Gun, it's from Octopussy. Look at the buttons. Look at these screen crap captures. And a good auction house says oops and amends their listing, and a bad auction house does not, does nothing. So send me a note at bondfanevents.com or at my email address, baconbond at gmail.com. I'm happy to authenticate your item for you and, and tell you what it's worth. And in the very rare cases I don't know what it's worth, I'll connect you with a world expert who does know, because all of us as James Bond experts we're a very small community. This isn't Star Trek. This isn't Star Wars. There's not a million of us. We're happy to help you. It is a question of trust. Who do you believe? So thank you for subscribing to this YouTube channel. And thank you for considering the real difference between genuine and fake can easily be discerned by reading the Holy Bible. I trust the Bible as my guide to life. It also tells me how to deal with props and posters and books and buyers and sellers and human hearts. And the main message of the Bible is to trust Jesus for salvation. Thank you.